All right, rolling out a little bit of veg tan leather. This here is about an eight, nine ounce, which is pretty much equivalent to an eighth of an inch thick. Now I'm just gonna trace out the front side of the scabbard that I'm gonna be building. Now I'm leaving a little bit extra on the sides. I'm not exactly cutting it straight to my pattern just to leave a little bit of leeway for later on because I'm gonna need to glue that and then fit that to my back piece. So in order to create my stitch line, I'll have to grind it all down. So next, I'm gonna actually be cutting out the piece. I'm just gonna trace around this time. Now we're gonna give it a cut. And it's still gonna be a little bit bigger than what the back piece is. So now here's the back piece. I am gonna cut this down to the correct size of the pattern. I'm gonna go all the way around it. Now I'm gonna take that edger and get that top side where the knife's gonna slide in. It's Important to do that now because once it's glued down, I won't be able to edge the back sides. So we're going to get it now. So here you get to see the basic design. I'm just getting everything lined up and getting ready to glue it down. Here comes the glue. I'm just going to make sure not to get anywhere where it's going to be showing. I'm gonna hammer it down just to keep everything stuck while I'm cutting it. I don't want it to come undone and leave a nasty edge anywhere. It's better to have everything set just how it's gonna be. Now I trimmed off the excess. Now I'm making a stitch groove. Getting ready to sew it. You want that stitch groove so that the stitch sits down underneath of the leather. That way your stitches aren't hanging up on everything and wearing out prematurely. haven't done the holes for my belt loops to go through yet, but I will do those later. I wanted to get this outside sewn in order to figure out where I was going to put those. I'll turn the afterburners on here for the sewing machine. for where the belt loops are going to go through. I'm just going to, I have them drawn out on the original pattern that I made and I'm just going to transfer them over to the leather real quick. Now that I got that done, I'm going to use a little oval punch to get my hole started. I'll just do an oval punch at each end of the loop and then use my ruler and a little scratch all. And I'm just going to connect the dots and then now we're cutting it out. It's just a real easy process to make a belt loop. Alright, now we're getting ready to lay down the design. This one's actually going to have a, a logo that's going to go on the front, so I'm going to wet the leather down. Now I printed off the logo, and now I'm going to trace it on. Most of what you can see is just the back of my hand, unfortunately but there's not much here to see, so it'll be, it'll be over in a second. All right, now we got the brand traced on there. I'm just gonna find my borders. I want everything to be real symmetrical, real straight to the border. There we go. And I'm gonna take my swivel knife and start carving in that border. And once I get that done, I'm gonna carve the design. First, I'm going to make my lines here for this little basket weave pattern that I'm going to do here in a minute. I'm 
getting the horns cut in. There we go. Starting to come together now. Now I'm just going to base everything off of those two lines that I've just made. Now, working, making other lines, keep working my way out to the edge of the pattern. Oh, this is it's creating a diamond pattern. Later on, once we get a little more detail in it, it's going to look like a weaved pattern. We have two different pieces of lace woven underneath of one another. It's a pretty cool looking pattern. It covers up some space, but yet still looks nice. Now we got that done, I'm going to start some beveling. And it's important to get your pattern correct on this because you're relying on that heavily to achieve the look that we're going to get here in a minute. And if you take a look, it's kind of came together. Use a little shading. And now we're going. There you go. Now I'm just going to start beveling the outside of this logo. And then try to get all the spots that I missed. sweat from soaking in through the sides of your leather which is the most vulnerable area for it to soak in and if we can seal that off that'll help preserve the leather and help it have a long life I'm going to do the same to the belt loops kind of get in there the best I can with my all here now I'm going to create a checkerboard effect with the uh design and kind of give a light coat of dye to every other one and then the logo is going to get a little bit of paint and we're almost to the end there we have it 